Now, we want to do some example questions and uh, we want to show more example calculations. And this is quick review A of page 30 of chemi chemistry KBSM textbook. So maybe you could look through the question 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And now we want to start off with question number 1. Alright, so how many atoms of nitrogen have the same mass as one atom of iron? Okay, perhaps I could provide uh, a few information here. For number one, you're comparing nitrogen. Nitrogen is having RAM 14 and iron has 56. Now they're asking you how many nitrogen equals to one iron okay graphically it may look something like this okay how many two of nitrogen maybe would have 28 still not enough three of nitrogen perhaps it has uh, 42 how about another 14 would you get 56 so four pieces of nitrogen equals to one iron now let's proceed with question number two the mass of an atom of element Y is 10 times greater than the mass of an atom of beryllium. What is the relative atomic mass of Y? We have to check the value of beryllium. All right? So Y is uh, 10 times of beryllium. Now, 10 times heavier means this one is really super heavy. Now, our task now is to find the relative atomic mass of beryllium. So, beryllium is 9. Okay? So, the RAM of beryllium is 9. So, we put 9. Therefore, we can say that the relative atomic mass of Y is 90. Okay? Now, Let's move on to question 3. Calculate the relative molecular or formula masses of the following substance. You see, we don't really have to differentiate whether this is RMM or this is RFM. We'll come to know that later and then we'll revise again. We'll come back and revise. Now, you look at I2, SF6, CaCO3, H3PO4, CuNO3, 2. Okay. Now, before we go to the whiteboard, we could find out the information. Alright. So let's try now. Information given. I will have 1 to 7. But they are asking for I2. A, they are asking for I2. So, two pieces of this, you get... 2, 5, 4. Okay, so this is RMM of iodine gas. Second question, they are asking for SF6. Now, graphically, it may look something like this. S surrounded by 6 Fs. Alright, so because of this, we can find the uh, relative mass. Okay, not very sure whether it is formula or molecular, but nevertheless, calculation is very straightforward. Sulfur is given as 32. Fluorine is given as fluorine is given as 19. Alright, so 32 plus 6 pieces of 19. That would equal to 32 plus 6, 54, 616, 104. So you will get one four six. Alright. Now let's move on with C. C they are asking for CaCO3. Now given the information CA is forty, 